So my name is Ariana Uso, and uh, I'm going to tell you about uh, my one hour period drama, Shattered Faces. Because of its violence, World War I created never seen before monsters, the gueule cassée, as we call them in French, the men who got their faces blown off and survived. Surgery could do very little for them. And that's when art took over. An American sculptor opened a workshop in Paris to mold and paint prosthetic masks, thus enabling them to regain their dignity. And I just had to make a show about it. Shattered Faces is a one hour drama set in 1917 Paris. It follows these disfigured soldiers as they struggle to reconstruct their identity. It follows the doctors who experiment on facial reconstruction and it follows the artists who make it their mission to paint these shattered faces back to life. We navigate this world of horror and beauty with the tortured painter Angelina who drudges away in a hospital to punish herself. Years ago, Angelina lost the custody of her baby daughter. She was too absorbed in her painting, forgot to look after her, and her daughter had an accident. Since then, Angelina believes her art is doomed and swore never to touch a brush again. But when a disfigured soldier threatens to jump out of the window after seeing his butchered face, Angelina sees the, the reflection of her inner monstrosity, of her guilt in his face, and she persuades him not to jump because her mastery of portraits could give him a new face. And if there's still a chance for him, there's still a chance for her. So she joins the workshop, hoping to redeem herself, not only as an artist, but as a mother. Through this show, I want to bring to light women's unexplored heroism during the war and pay homage to these extraordinary doctors and artists who fought for life and humanity. Unfortunately, disfigurement still exists today due to domestic violence, war, accidents, and we never see these people because it's hard to watch. So I hope that Shattered Faces can show that art today still has the power to change our perceptions and connect us to our humanity.